What's up guys, Joey Sending here. Today we're gonna to do a back workout using the Bowflex Extreme 2 home workout machine. A workout you guys have all been waiting for. This is a beginner to intermediate. You could do an advanced workout with this. It all depends on your level. And so really what I'm gonna take you through is four different exercises for the back. So what are we doing when we're training the back? We're pulling, right? So I'm gonna show you all the different angles we're gonna pull from using just the Bowflex Extreme 2 home workout machine. I'm an NASM master trainer. I've been training for 15 years. And so I figured out a way to attack your back from all angles using this machine. So again, we're going to start off with a front pull down. We're going to do a, a low row, traditional low row. We're going to do a high pull for the, like the lower trap, the rear deltoids, the rhomboids, things like that. We're going to do a isometric using your core. We're going to isometrically contract your core and do a press down, a straight on press down using mainly your Therese Major, a little bit of tricep and some core contraction, mainly to get some variety in because we're a little limited with that machine and that, you know, there's only so many workouts we can do, so many angles we can attack it from. But we're gonna do four different, very vital work, uh, workouts for your back, hitting it from all the important angles that you need to hit. So again, I'm gonna take you through the front pull down. That's gonna be for the lat and a little bit of the rear delt and the lower trap, okay? A little bit of that, I really want you to focus on your lats here. I'm gonna take you through it. I'm gonna take you through the sets, the reps, everything. I'm gonna give you an idea if you're a beginner, intermediate, or advanced. So. That front pull down is the front one we're gonna start with. Then I'm gonna take you through a traditional low row. Like you see a seated cable row, we're gonna perform that with the machine. I'm gonna take you through that. And I'm also gonna take you through a, a high pull because it's important that we go up high here, right? Because this is a different angle than this is, right? So we're gonna bring our elbows out. We're gonna be using more of a rear delt, our lower uh, trap here, our rhomboids, and kind of that upper mid back area. That's very important for us to hit. A lot of us neglect that when we're hitting back, unless you're doing kind of a bent barbell row in which case you're gonna hit all those. It's probably the best way, but to simulate it with the machine, we're gonna do it with the cables, right? So, and then finally, we're gonna finish with the isometric kind of a rhythmic contraction exercise where we're isometrically contracting our core, stabilizing, keeping our arms straight, doing push downs. I'm gonna take you through that. I'm gonna take you through the form, the sets, the reps, the weight, all the way from beginner to intermediate, a little bit of advanced. Uh, I, these workouts are kind of hard for advanced lifters because I'm a little limited by the rods. So. That's a consideration. Let's go over the equipment a little bit for this workout that I'm giving you, this four exercise workout for the back, beginner to intermediate, a little bit of advanced, right? So for this four exercise workout, you're gonna need minimal equipment. Usually, as far as I'm aware, the machine that I purchased came with the equipment. It came with that straight bar for the press down. It came with, of course, the two uh, cable handles for the rods, for the connecting to the, the cable rods. And it also came with the, uh, the, the bent bar for the pull down, okay? And you can also do a bent, uh, you can also use that bar in different ways. Like you're gonna see, like when we do the high pull, I think I use the cables. We could use the bent bar for that as well and pull towards your uh, your sternum here, right beneath your, uh, your chest here, right? So I'm gonna give you some alternatives. So the equipment, the good news is you shouldn't need more than the equipment that came with it. Like you don't need extra straps or attachments, things like that. However, if you're more than a beginner, which maybe a lot of you watching this are, or if you're not, uh, that's okay you are probably gonna need extra resistance rods, in which case I did purchase the extra rods. I purchased the, the, the 50 and 50 or the 100 pound upgrade. I purchased two of those, so I purchased 200 extra pounds, I believe, for the machine. So I have um, two more 50s on the front and the back, I think, is how they're set up. So that's a consideration for you because I needed that, and then I'm trying to go through the certain reps. Now I'll explain how to go through the reps on each set that we're doing. So we're gonna do three sets of each workout. I'm gonna give you a little bit of a variation where you could do maybe four or five and how you could go about that and how many reps you should be doing for the weight that you're putting on. Does that make sense? So, okay guys, so let's go into the workout. I already did all these workouts for you. So I'm gonna go narrate it and explain the form, where your chin should be, where your posture should be. How do we optimally activate the back using the machine? That's kind of the point of the video. How do we really work our back muscles? Again, we're pulling. So we're gonna pull from mainly three different angles and do a push down, how the workout's broken down. So let's go through that. I'm gonna sit down, narrate it, take you through all the exercises, take you through the posture, the tempo, the speed of the uh, the workout, of course, the, the resistance, and how to get through each of these workouts. All right, let's go do it. All right, so here we go. Starting off with the Bowflex back attack workout, we're gonna do the wide grip pull down. Notice I have a thumbless grip. If you watched one of my earlier videos, you would see why. Thumbs on the outside. Rhythmic movement here. I start off with about 150 pounds on the rods. 
so or actually a 210 excuse me that's like the max on the original rods that come with the the machine it's my warm-up set i'm not trying to brag it's just most of you will probably reach a level where that's going to be your warm-up so that's just warm-up set you see me here adjusting it i have to max it out now for you as a beginner you're just going to want to go up incrementally like you're going to do sets of 15 reps 12 reps 10 and 8. for me i need to do it where i'm doing 15 reps and then all sets of 12 because i can get about 12 reps with the max weight uh, i guess in this case i'm only going up 100 pounds on the next set and we'll see how many reps that i do here i'm pretty sure it's about 12 reps still so i'm putting it up to the 310 upgrade so again you can purchase these rods they're about i think they're like 100 bucks for the 100 pound upgrade i bought both upgrades so i have like the max weight that's available for the machine again thumbless grip rhythmic movement even spine even chin so from the side you'll get a side view but here we go rhythmic movement squeeze at the bottom not leaning back right i'm just kind of moving that bar down by my chin right above the chest so i'm not leaning back key point squeezing the back every time it's a pull and squeeze it's the bow flex so you have to flex at the end to get that time under tension for the muscle to really feel it working you can see it working pretty good in the video boom here i am with the max weight now so this is i'm pretty sure i'm still doing 12 reps this is looks like uh, the max weight is 410 pounds so here we go Boom, just rhythmic movement, one, two, one, two, boom. Squeeze in the back every time, okay? And a little extra squeeze at the end we did there, okay? And there's a little flex so you can see how the machine's working there. So, moving on, we're gonna do a low row, and this one is all rhythmic, so you have to adjust those little cable pulleys that are, that are at the bottom of the machine, toward, a little more toward the, the back of the machine or toward the, the, the pad, toward the base of that platform, and here I am, now the key here is I am moving my hips a little bit, but my back is staying straight, my spine is, sta is staying straight, my chin is level, so I'm not jutting my head forward or lifting my chin too high. Again, I have a thumbless grip, rhythmic movement, elbows coming right by my side. This is a lower lat movement, mostly. The last one was kind of rear delt and lower lat, and a little bit of the trap. This one is mostly a focus on the lower lats, right? Different areas, a little bit of the low uh, the rear delt so this is a rhythmic movement we're just going to do sets of 12 here just all the way through so the weight whatever weight we could do for sets of 12 i think i have about three maybe 310 on there i definitely don't have the max weight i think on this one it might be 210 to 310 i'm just doing sets of 12 rhythmic motions and i'm not trying to really plateau or, py or pyramid rather up on those so now we're going to go up high right so this is a high pull this is for the low trap the mid back the rhomboids the rear delt those areas so the key here is you want to keep your shoulders down elbows out shoulders down elbows out it's kind of a weird thing try not to shrug your shoulders and again i'm doing 12 to 15 reps here let's see how many we do this one two three four breathe out five six seven eight nine ten even chin right even spine 11, 12, okay, yeah, that's a 12 on that. So now we're doing the straight arm press down, and this one, this one is just, again, keeping our spine straight. It's gonna really isolate kind of what's called a Therese major, which is right underneath our rear delt and above our latissimus. And it's also gonna help us contract in the rear there. You can see the Christmas tree forming back there. Breathe in, out, don't go higher than the shoulders. Arms straight, stay straight the whole time. And I think I do 15, 12 to 15 reps here, starting relatively lightweight. You can see how light the weight is on this one for me. And arms out the whole time, even posture, even tempo. Here we go with the next set. I'll give you a side view too on this one so you can see. I'm sorry, I missed a side view on the lat pull down, but this one we get a side view. I think it's six reps, seven, eight, nine. So you can see the back working, 10. Therese Major. 12, looks like 15 reps here. Okay, 13 reps maybe. So we have right there. So we go, kind of see how it works. A little show off. And then the side view. So look at the chin posture, look at the spine. Three, four, five. You gotta contract your core in order to do this. Seven, eight, nine, 10. Looks like we're gonna get 12 here, 11, 12. Okay, so that's the weight I could do. So just some notes, guys. So while we're going through this, while we're going through this, 
pay attention to the posture and the weight and, and the reps rather that we're doing. So the posture that we're using, we always want our chin straight. We always want our chin kind of aligned with our spine. We don't want our head jutting forward. We don't want our back flexed. You just want a nice straight spine while we're going through these movements. Generally, you're gonna pull with your thumbs on the outside. You're gonna use a rhythmic movement. For the first workout, we're gonna do kind of a pyramid set where we're doing 15 reps, 12, 10, and eight. I have to go 15, 12, 12, 12. That's the level I'm at. For you, you may be able to pyramid and kind of get a heavier weight and do like maybe, you can maybe do six to eight reps on that last set to get the most out of it. I do recommend purchasing those 100 pound upgrade rods, uh, both of them, because eventually you're gonna need both of them. Most likely, most of you watching this will. If you're a man, maybe even a woman, you might need those. And this is four workouts that we're doing for each part of the back with just this machine. So there's other you know ways to work the back, but with this machine, these are four of the best ways I found do the ultimate back workout. And there'd be difference between beginner and advanced is just the amount of weight you select really and how many sets you do. So here I'm showing you about three sets each workout. That's a beginner way. In advanced, you can go anywhere up to four or five. I myself probably stick around four at this point, but you can go up to five if you're more advanced, right? So just kind of extra notes on these. Hope you guys like it. We'll see you back in the studio. All right, guys, so we got through the workout. I hope you liked it. I hope you feel your back activating. That's the most important part is that we feel our muscles activating using a home workout equipment and just one machine, right? There's other many other ways to train your back to do some pulling workouts, but most of you watching this are probably really interested in how to use a machine to get the most out of your back. So I promise you, with my experience, I'm giving you the best I can as far as getting the most out of your back training using just this machine. We might do some other optimal workouts using other equipment where we say, okay, we're gonna use this machine and these dumbbells and this bench or whatever to do an optimal workout for the back, something more optimal for the home besides just the machine. But this machine will do a great job, right? As a lot of you know, I'm sure they're watching this video. So sorry for the absence, guys. I just moved, as you can see, by the new background. Um, I had to move unexpectedly, so I'm purchasing a house that will next year, and until then I had to find a short-term place to stay. So that's for the delay in video. I did shoot a bunch of this stuff in my old place though, so that's where you're seeing this film. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I put in a lot of effort to do this workout and make sure it's done right and give you guys the best I can to get the most out of this machine because I know a lot of you guys like it a lot. All right, so I'm gonna have all the workouts coming for you. I filmed all the rest of the workouts, so I got that content coming up for you. Uh, so subscribe to the channel. If you guys wanna share this with your friends or you guys wanna work out, try these workouts, have a great time. Uh, make the most of it, right? So any questions, comment down below. I'll do my best to answer them in the comments to help you out with your workouts and your other fitness needs. So it's Joey Senna, guys, and we'll see you guys next time.